Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio, and I hope you're well today. Today we're looking at 2 Timothy 3.16. This powerful passage gives us an idea of how important the Word of God is, not only from the pulpit, but also uh, in our own personal lives. It says, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17. The, uh, the Apostle Paul is telling us, and he's given us the guide to which, uh, how uh, to set the precedence of the Word of God in our life. You know what? As a pastor who has, who has preached, who has taught, who has defended the Word of God for decades, you know, I'm tired. I'm tired of these false preachers up there. I've spent the last uh, few days going through uh, some of these false teachers uh, that are out there, and I, I'm amazed. I'm amazed at the crowds they, uh, they gather and how uh, biblically illiterate the community, the, uh, the, those who identify themselves as Christians, are. I mean, these, these, these preachers, these so-called preachers are abusing them. They're lying to them. They're blaspheming to them. And yet, every, uh, there's crowds are just eating it up. Uh, they're, they believe every lie. There's no spiritual discernment whatsoever. You have to make the determination is, number one, either these people are not saved, and that's probably true, or number two, they're so biblically illiterate, they can't uh, dis, uh, discern the truth from the error. And really, because we are indwelled by the Holy Spirit of God, that discernment should be there. We may not be able to put a, a, a Bible uh, chapter and verse to it, but there's something that grates within a true believer that they, that they understand that something someone is teaching them is not right. You have a responsibility to hold those teachers, those preachers accountable for, for what they're preaching from the pulpit. And yet, what we're seeing here is a prolification of these false teachers out there who are, who are deceiving who are milking the uh, uh, bilking money from these people? They're lying to them. You give me a dollar, and God's going to pay your bills. You give me a hundred dollars. You give me a thousand dollars, and God's going to answer your prayers and all this other stuff. And people are doing this. I'm amazed at the amount of money that goes into some of these um, these uh, so-called mega churches, these televangelists, and so forth. Uh, I'm, I'm amazed that people are so willing to write a check and to put on their credit card um, monies to support these errant doctrines and these liars, these deceivers. There's no discernment. And because there's no discernment, there's no accountability uh, for these liars, these deceivers, these false teachers, these false prophets uh, from the pulpit. And so they have the more and more money, and they deceive more and more people, and they get uh, more and more rich. Shame on them, and shame on us if we condone such actions. I'm tired of this. Uh, we have to hold those people who stand in the pulpit, who teach God's Word, accountable for what they believe. And if they're teaching a, a damnable heresy, you know, we need to call it out. We need to call it out. And, and, and that's your responsibility. That's my responsibility to make sure that those around us are not falling prey to these, these damnable heresies that are being so espoused today. I'm, I'm amazed. They said some, some uh, preachers out there telling their people to, to eat grass and saw some preachers out there that are uh, have their uh, congregation laying on top, uh, laying on the ground, and the preachers walking over them. I've seen where preachers were uh, taking a belt and and whipping uh, their 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 followers. I've seen where one uh, Canadian, I think it was Canadian uh, evangelist out there who were who would uh, hit people, kick people, and and say it was a a move of the Holy Spirit. I've seen. Preachers up there that are uh, will laugh and 
and uh, demonically, and the congregation laughs with them. It, 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 it's it's shameful. It's wicked. It's demonic, and it's spreading. We are so enamored with being amused in 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 our church service among our pre preachers. We want our preachers to be comedians. We want our preachers to be entertaining. We want them to be interesting. But you know, the fact is, is that the word amuse means ah means not. Muse means think. That's why we call them amusement parks. You go to amusement parks so you don't have to think. We want to be amused. We want to go to church services. We want to go and, uh, and to be entertained and not think. Well, God's not called us to leave our brains at the door. God has called us to, be a, uh, to hold these people accountable. If we're opening our lives up to them, to share God's word, we better make sure that they're sharing God's word and not their damnable heresies. I'm just tired of it. Just tired of it. Uh, thank you for letting me rant a little bit. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying God loves you and I love you as well. And I'll talk to you soon.